the second Sunday in Advent, Year C, from the Gospel according to Luke. The word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. In the name of that same God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The wilderness of Judea plays enough of a role in Scripture as to constitute a character in itself. It embraces prophets and kings, embitters exiles, and emboldens pilgrims. We don't know why John's gone out into the wilderness. What we do know is that the Word of God comes to him there, and that afterwards John goes around successfully proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Why fill such valleys and lay such hills low? If the strategic importance of Jerusalem from both a military and a theological standpoint comes from the fact that the surrounding terrain is so difficult to navigate, then why in the world would we want to smooth it out? But again, we're not talking about in the world, we're talking about in the kingdom. The advantages offered by the wilderness assume the hostility of the world. We go into the wilderness to repent because its sheltering solitude hides our nakedness in a world demanding concealment of flaws. We retreat from the wilderness in order to heal because its wandering paths prevent any kind of frontal assault. We cross the wilderness with pride and determination because our willingness to overcome obstacles sets both us and our offerings apart. In a beloved community, however, where we are set free from the hands of our enemies, where there is no enemy, no scarcity, no need to hide or heal or to rise above, where we offer up hearts overflowing with the harvest of righteousness, then we, like Paul, are able to long for the return of all people with the compassion of Christ Jesus. There, we are able to celebrate and share with those who are now starved of the good news. Longing for such a gathering of God's children from the West and from the East, would we not work even now to prepare the way? In order for Jerusalem to become and to live as a city at unity with itself, the tribes must be able to go up to bring offerings to God from our abundance, to testify to God's mighty acts, and to give thanks for God's compassion and mercy. Let us, therefore, receive the word that comes to us in this our wilderness, calling upon us to prepare a way. For though the day is not yet fully here with the light of God's glory, even so, in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high has already broken upon us. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.